Child killer Norman Afzal Simons has been released on parole. Residents in Paro in the Western Cape say they're unhappy with the decision as they fear for their lives. Simons is accused of being the station strangler and spent 28 years in prison. He'll be under house arrest for the rest of his life. ENCA's Nobisuto Hejana reports. He had no say in actually what was going to happen and how it was going to happen. That's why I say the Paro community was informed as an afterthought of this. Stefan Kartsen says while he understands that Norman Afsal Simmons has served his time for the kidnapping, rape and murder of Elroy van Royen, residents of Peru North still have concerns about whether he has been truly rehabilitated. He was among residents who questioned the Department of Correctional Services during a community dialogue about their safety. There's also been speculations about threats to Simmons' life. Some residents stage a walkout as tempers fled. Yes, he will be monitored 24-7 and all that weird and wonderful stuff that Department of Corrections do. My concern is um, somebody might have found out where he's going to stay and say, I'm going to do a revenge attack. And that was one of my comments on the meeting on Tuesday night as well, to which I'm still waiting on an answer. How do we protect ourselves as a community against something like this? Because that's my biggest concern. The Community Policing Forum says despite concerns raised by residents, it appears there was not enough consultation to bring Simmons to the area. It's tough times for the community. And how do you appease a community with a convicted murderer coming in to live in your area? So hopefully going forward it, it will improve and maybe they'll move him out of our area, which would be a bit of a relief um, in general. So, but then maybe that's not the case. Smith says, although Simmons has strict parole conditions, that does not put the community at ease. He has served his time. Uh, it's unfortunate that we're inheriting this person into our community. I, I do believe the the DCS has given us um, his parole, um, what would I say, his parole requirements. They're rather strict and stringent, but you can never police anybody 24-7. While the department has kept mum on his exact location, some residents who refuse to appear on camera say they fear being targeted as they don't know if Simmons stays right next to them. Nabasutu Ejana, Cape Town.